Hi there, I'm Erica. I'm Caitlin. And Abby. And we are going to give you an update on a project that we have been working on since early um, this year or late spring. And what it is, is we have a flower bed on the side of our house that we haven't really worked on very much. Um, but this year we decided to tackle it and we pulled weeds, we um, put some weed barrier down, fixed our irrigation system and mulched the flower bed. And so we have added some plants. Um, our goal is to uh, have it full of perennials so it comes back every year. And that way pollinators can enjoy it just as much as we do. Uh, so one thing that we want to mention is that we have had extreme weather here in Idaho. Um, we have been in the hundreds for what feels almost a month now. Um, so our, our garden took it really hard and some of the plants did die um, and now they're on their second bloom. bloom. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show you some of what we have right now. So here we have the uh, Rose Campion. Um, this is a plant that we mentioned earlier. We are going to be moving. Um, this is not the best spot for it, um, but um, it is a beautiful color that blooms here. And what do we have here, Abby? We have a whirling butterfly. The reason why they're called whirling butterflies is because they look like butterflies. So the other name you might know these by is Gara. And so we picked up two of those for this side of the flower bed. And then we have another one that we'll show you later. And we have the Diamond Frost Euphorbia by Proven Winners here. We had two, uh, three plants last year that got accidentally pulled, um, but we replaced them earlier this year and you probably saw that in one of our previous videos. And what do we have here? This is a purple butterfly bush. Yep. And so um, right here, um, we do have a hydrangea in the back over there that we're kind of nursing, but here's another one. And do you, what's the name for this? This one? is a limelight hydrangea. Yeah, so this is limelight hydrangea, one of my favorites. And even though I was not planning on doing any roses in this side, we ended up um, adding this Atlas Rose from Proven Winners, which is one of, um, it's a beautiful color. And um, we love how it looks right next to that limelight and also next to these blue delphiniums which our goal is since it is working out having delphiniums here um we are going to fill this area and then what do we have here caitlin this one just kind of popped up this is a capel yeah so we thought it was some of the echinacea coming back from last year but um it's a capel plant that we planted here and i guess it came back none of the echinacea did except for one back there but um these are the columbines so we planted two types here the blue with the white and then one that was like a buttery yellow. And then we have these uh, fox gloves here. Um, they're the Dalmatian purple fox gloves. Um, and now they're all spent. Um, we do want to mention that these are poisonous. So if you're touching any part of that, it is considered poisonous. Um, and oh, by the way, the delphinium and the um, columbines are also toxic. And one of my new favorites, this is a type of uh, salvia. Um, this has bloomed pretty much the whole season, so we, we really like that. And then, Caitlin, do you want to talk to us about this one? These are the Amazing Daisies. Yeah, or Daisy May mm -hmm. by uh, Proven Winners. So this was full, and you probably, if you're following us on Instagram, you probably saw pictures of how full it could get, um, but the sun did scorch them, so we cut them back, and we're hoping to get another bloom. And, and you know it was harsh because the Coriopsis, I think is how you say it, or the Tixie, um, is suffering too. And then the, um, uh, this is the Veronica that um, we absolutely love. And it's just now that it's starting to lose its color, but it has had color pretty much all season. And we have um, some, um, another one from Proven Winners. It's the Paint the Town Magenta um, Dianthus. And then we also have the lemon coral sedum that's doing really great. And so what we're thinking is next year we'll do more borders with that. And there's some Melissa. And there's a butterfly. Oh, where'd it go? Somewhere. Over there. And then um, we have um, my Aunt Magnolia, uh, which we actually had just made the decision to pull it out, which we know will probably mean that it's, it's not going to survive anywhere we move it to. Um, but just as we made the decision, it decides to make a comeback. So we'll see what happens with that. And then, Abby, do you want to point out this one? This is the Galardia. This one's very fuzzy. Yeah. It, what happens with these blooms is that once they get spent, they have these little balls that form, and they're just really cute. And then, We have Cosmos. Yeah. 
the cosmos are peeking through what is milkweed um and milkweed is a, we plant we had seed back there and it ended up here so in the last few videos we kept referring to the cosmos um little did we know it wasn't cosmos um it was milkweed um and then we also have this other echinacea it's also from proven winners it's called the lakota fire um and um i did plant this i took the risk of planting it when it was really hot so it is starting to come back um but that was probably my fault uh, cluster bell flowers here and then we have the grass that we split in two and then we have the lantana this is called um i think is it bandana Band bandana red lantana um and then we have a purple clematis and jake's favorite the russian sage um where it's being corralled by the red um red beckia um and we have some alyssum down there and we have um a Stella de Lily and our goal is to put more of the Rebecca to corral this um, pollinators love it just like they love the red valerian which has done really good had I cut it down it probably would be doing better and then um, we have the rhododendron which is like a purple um, lilac in the spring and here's that gara um, we also have that fine line buckthorn from proven winners and we have um, a lily which um, put on some pretty blooms um, but we with the summer that we've had things have struggled and so you know we're we're just kind of watching things and we know that this was an exception of a year um, hoping we don't have this type of weather <laughs> anymore but you never know um, so yeah, this is what we've done and like I said, hopefully we'll be able to fill it up with more of our favorites um, We know what's working now. So girls, do you want to say anything else before we go? Make sure to subscribe to our channel Jekka Adventures and please follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Bye! Bye!